So the release date for the Nintendo Switch has finally been announced last night at the uh, Nintendo event. It will be released on March 3rd of this year, 2017, for the base price of $299. That's roughly around $300. And I think it's safe to say that I don't see myself owning this console in the foreseeable future. Mainly because I really don't think this console is for me. And they showed nothing nothing last night that I want to play on the Nintendo Switch. Now, don't get me wrong, some of these games they showed looked great, and I'm pretty sure the ones that are in development are awesome as well, but still, nothing made me want to go out and pre-order this uh, new console from Nintendo. So um, I'm going to get to these games that they announced last night, and then I'm going to talk about these outrageous prices that they have some, for some of these accessories. And a uh, good thing I'm recording this on my cell phone, by the way, so I could actually uh, cut this video with what I'm seeing on the screen. <laughs> um, and yes, that is gameplay you are seeing from the Resident Evil remake on the PS4. I'm playing this because I'm getting excited for Resident Evil 7. As you can tell, I have been a longtime fan ever since the original Resident Evil all the way back on the PSX. So uh, let's get to some of these Nintendo Switch games. So they did announce The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will be a launch title alongside the Nintendo Switch. However, this game is still coming out for the Wii U. And it is confirmed that it is coming out for the Wii U on their on their official website. And uh, Amazon is still taking pre-orders for the Wii U version. So it, may, it makes me wonder how many people are going to go out there and stand in line for the Nintendo Switch just to play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when you can also get it for the Wii U. So... I mean, I get it. I get it. Choices. Choices. People like to have choices, right? But uh, another game they announced is called ARMS. It's, uh, it's what I like to call, I guess, the next evolution of Punch-Out, where it's, uh, I guess, arcade boxing games, where the arms of the characters are like springs, and you move the Joy-Cons, that's what they're calling the new motion controller things that you, I guess, could take with you on the go. Um, yeah, you, you know, you can just move these Joy-Cons as if you are punching. So you move in a punching motion and the characters on screen would punch. It pretty much is a brand new punch out. It's, yeah, next generation punch out. <laughs> um, now, what's this other one called? Switch 1-2, which looks questionable. Uh, I guess it's for people who has a great vast imagination in the head of theirs. But yeah, if you have, I guess, or no, I should say, if you are a very imaginative person, then Switch 1-2 is for you. Um, let's see, what else we have here? We have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which is pretty much the same Mario Kart 8 that came out for the Wii U, but with uh, new characters, I guess, and new tracks. So Mario Kart fans, you know, you have something to look forward to, I guess, if you feel like buying the same game twice. Uh, Splatoon 2. Mm, I never played the first one. However, I guess it gained a huge following. There is a huge fan base for Splatoon. Snipper Clips. Snipper Clips, it looks like a game children can get into. Or uh, children and parents, I should say. We have uh, EA Sports FIFA. Gotta have sports games, right? NBA 2K18 also as well. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, well, you know, us console players from... Uh, <laughs> PS3 and 360 have been playing this for years, as well as the PC gamers as well. Um, plus, I guess most of us have been playing it twice since the remastered version just, just came out. So, uh, I don't know. 
uh, if you Nintendo players out there are looking forward to playing Skyrim, or did you already play it on the PS3 or PS4 or Xbox 360 or Xbox One or PC? I'm not sure if this is going to sell well on the Nintendo Switch because <laughs> it's been out for a while. Uh, let's see, we have Super Bomberman R, Minecraft, Ultra Street Fighter 2, which is a classic. Has been Heroes Just Dance 2017. Um, that's all I'm seeing, and I believe there are some games in development that uh, that I'm not seeing here on their website. So uh, let me uh, do some research here for a bit. If I could find these other games that are in development. All right, so yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors, which is pretty much, I guess, you know, your <laughs> Dynasty Warriors like game but with fire emblem characters uh what else is in development xenoblade chronicles 2 which is cool for the rpg players out there um i would say i'm excited for this but i have not even got started on my xenoblade chronicles x for the wii u and i also have xenoblade chronicles for my 3ds and i'm not about to get started on another xenoblade chronicles just yet so basically i'm not ready to make that jump from my wii u to this uh switch for these um brand new rpgs uh what else do they have coming out no more heroes okay so a brand new no more heroes game um and there was another Japanese title, a brand new Shin Megami Tensei, which is a uh, good series. And uh, how can I not mention this? All right, so they showed a brand new Super Mario game. It's called Super Mario Odyssey, where Super Mario is jumping around New York and he's interacting with uh, realistic looking people this time, I guess. <laughs> um. I don't know what to make of this. It looks odd, but I guess that's the point of it, because it's called Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, the only thing I could think of when I saw that was that one Sonic the Hedgehog game that came out for Dreamcast eons ago, where Sonic the Hedgehog was interacting with realistic people, you know, or realistic looking people. So that's the only thing I could think of when I saw that Super Mario Odyssey. I was like, oh, so now... They decided to do that with Mario this time. Great. <laughs> but, uh, no, you're not just jumping around New York. Uh, I believe in the video they did show you that you get to go to different locations and, like, different worlds and stuff. And, you know, do the usual Mario stuff that you would do in a 3D Mario game. Jump around and spin around. And I guess this time he has a interactive hat that has wings or something or no it has a set of eyes that's right and i think it has or it grants mario different abilities from what i'm assuming i'm i don't really know too much about, about this super mario odyssey um i'm sure it'll be great for the super mario fans out there so um i believe that's most of the games that have been announced and shown and of course there's more games here uh project octopath which is a RPG with a stylized uh, 2D art style to it. I guess you could say that. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting here? I'm looking at the list. Um, all right. So anyways, yeah, none of these. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're all fun games. They're all fun, but they're not making me want to run out there and pre-order this switch i'm not sitting here scratching my head going oh man i gotta i gotta have it i gotta have the new nintendo console i, I gotta have it no i'm i'm guys i'm pretty um i'm pretty contempt with my ps4 and my 3ds and my wii u uh i currently do not have an xbox one i'm waiting till they release that xbox one scorpio and seeing what's up with that if it's not that great, then guess what? I'm not going to be owning an Xbox One anytime soon. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I have the uh, standard 
uh, base PS4 from launch day. I do not have the PS4 Pro. Uh, I was not really impressed from what I seen of the PS4 Pro. Uh, it was just, from for me, from what I seen, it just seemed like a waste of money if you already owned just a normal PS4. But uh, anyways, let's get to some of these accessories for the Nintendo Switch, because uh, these prices, man, wow. <sighs> All right, so yeah, base console with the gray Joy-Con controllers, $299.99, right? And they're gonna have another one with neon blue and neon red Joy-Con controllers for the same price. That's, uh, I guess, if you wanna have uh, uh, variations of color with your Joy-Con controllers. Uh, and okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, $69.99. And uh, you know what? Let me just cut over here. Let me just edit over here to my cell phone just to show you guys what I'm looking at, just to show you guys that I'm not making this up. All right, so hopefully this could focus. All right, you guys see that? Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, $69.99. Scrolling down, the Joy-Con controllers, $79.99. $79.99, people, for a pair of Joy-Con controllers. So, if you are a parent and uh, you buy your child this Nintendo Switch and they end up losing one of these things, guess what? If they lose it or break them, then, uh, yeah, you're going to end up spending $80 for a pair of these Joy-Con controllers. My god, that's insane. And, uh, what the hell? So they got the Joy-Con L and R? Okay, L and R attachments for the controllers. $50? That's... What? That's over, well over a hundred dollars. Oh my god! If you get both of them together, there that is that is just. You guys are seeing this, right? And guys, here I'll show you where I'm getting this information from. All right, just to show you, I'm not making this crap up. If you go to Nintendo's official website, here let me click on that right now. I'll show you. Uh. See, all right, so yeah, if you go to that, this is their main page. See where it says here on the tabs, Nintendo Switch. If you just put your pointer over that, it gives you all these subcategories right here. If you go to buy now, if you click on that, all right, it'll take you to the prices. That's where I'm getting this information from, all right? So you go to Nintendo.com, go to the Nintendo Switch tab and click buy now and you can see the prices of all this stuff right here that I'm looking at that I'm showing you guys in this video that is insane man I don't know I don't know you guys that are gonna stand out there <laughs> in line for this thing are you guys really gonna spend that much money are you for all these extra accessories you know with the console and also, if you want a, a game, Zelda, which is the launch title, that's even more money right there. Just think about that, people. And if, Okay, so we have the Joy-Con Charging Grip, which is $30. So why aren't they selling this? No, okay. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, alright, so it does come with that controller, of course, but... If you want an extra one... That price is pretty steep. So anyways, yeah, that Joy-Con charging grip, $30. Wow. We have a Nintendo Switch dock set for $89.99, people. $90. Joy-Con wheel set of two for $14.99. I'm guessing that's to use with uh, Mario Kart. Uh, Joy-Con wheels. Okay, I see. I was wondering why it's so cheap. You put the Joy-Cons in the wheel. Yeah, so the wheel's just going to be a piece of hollow plastic for your Joy-Cons, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. This fucking accessories are just, no. <laughs> 
No, if I was to uh, be a consumer of this Nintendo Switch, I would have to say no to all this other stuff. Uh, I would just probably just buy the base console, and that's it. But um, since I'm not, because I already mentioned earlier on in the video, it's not for me, people. Um, you know, I understand if you are a long-time Nintendo fan, Nintendo supporter, uh, whatever you want to call yourself, I understand very well why you would, why you would want to go out and pre-order the Nintendo Switch. But uh, for me, I just feel the need to just save my money for other things and not spend it on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, it feels strange saying that considering I'm... I'm an old school gamer, you know, I grew up starting out with Atari and then I moved on to the Nintendos and Segas and then, you know, later on the uh, PlayStations and Xbox. Never had a 64, believe it or not. I had to go over to a friend's house and play the 64. Uh, I did own the GameCube. I did own that fun console. I still have my GameCube, by the way. And, uh, you know, before that, I had the Super and the regular Nintendo and Game Boy and all that. Um, and, of course, I do own the Wii and Wii U. Uh, oh, and the 3DS and some other handhelds. I own the regular DS, the uh, Game Boy Advance SP, I think it's called, or something like that. So, uh, for me to say that I'm not buying the Nintendo Switch feels very strange. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe the older I get, the more senile I get towards things, I'm, I'm just, I just look at things a different way, like, oh, another Mario, okay, <laughs> oh, another Zelda, wow, oh, another Pokemon, uh, can you guys just, I don't know, show me something new, <laughs> something new and exciting, and, uh, yeah, what they showed at the event, they did show some stuff that were new, but I think stuff that would appeal more to kids than adults, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this would appeal mostly to the kids. Uh, for adults, I don't know. I don't know, maybe like hardcore Nintendo fans or parents out there who wants to, you know, play with their kids, you know, that's... I think the Switch would be good for that. But for someone who's been, I don't know, playing like other better things on other platforms, <laughs> I don't see myself spending the money on the Nintendo Switch anytime soon. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go get out of here and put my money down on that uh, Resident Evil 7 because that's what I'm going to go pre-order. <laughs> Um, all right, enjoy your evening, and, uh, game on, my gamer friends, game on. Payback time.